Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijay Tavadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a hexagonal lamina of size 25 mm rests on one of its corners on HP. The corner opposite to the corner on which it rests is 35 mm above HP. And the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests is inclined at 30 degree to VP. Draw its projections, find the inclination of the surface with HP. According to the given condition, we shall construct a hexagon using application macros, run macro, n side polygon, open, flat length. The flat length is 25 millimeter. Number of sides in hexagon is 6. Apply relationship. Just press the cursor anywhere on the sheet so that hexagon is going to be appear. Now it is supposed to be rest on HP with a corner. Now select the hexagon go for rotate command select one inclined line and make that inclined line a horizontal line so that it will become a corner resting then it should be placed on the hp wherever it is necessary properly then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 one can draw the projectors from all the respective corners properly till it touches the xy line to draw the front view now once this line has been drawn then change the line thickness to 0.5 millimeter and starting with this corner complete the front view as a split line because the split lines helps us to draw the projectors in the next stage properly then using a text command show that this uh, dimension as a uh, 25 millimeter using smart dimension then name the respective corners so let me name it as a b and this is going to be c this is going to be d and this is going to be E and this is going to be F accordingly in the front view this is going to be A dash then B dash F dash then C dash E dash and then finally this is going to be D dash now once it is finished now the resting corner is going to be A dash and D dash is at a height of 35 millimeter above HP as per the given condition so go to a line command with a thickness of 0.13 one can draw the constructional line like this now using a smart dimensions or distance between whatever it may be then show that the distance between these two lines are supposed to be taken as 35 millimeter and then select the front view then go to a move command move in such a way that a dash is repositioned on the x y line at a convenient distance properly then go to a rotate command select a as fixed sorry before that one has to go to a arc command select a dash as a fixed point and d dash is going to be shifted on the 35 millimeter line so which one has to draw an arc once the arc is generated select the front view go to a rotate command now a dash is on the x y line and d dash is supposed to be shifted to this height now at this height what is the angle they are asking us to measure the surface of the inclination with HP so we'll measure it and it is showing us 44 degree then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 start drawing the projectors to draw the required top view now we'll start drawing the projectors now A, D, A and D is completed next we'll start with C so we'll complete the C to C now this angle is supposed to be taken as 0 degree we'll make it as 0 and then again with the line command we'll start connecting B to B then C sorry E and F is the final remaining points we'll complete E and F properly and then make use of a text command start giving the namings as A B C D E and this is going to be F then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter complete the top view properly by connecting the respective corners with a line command of a thickness 0.5 millimeter now one can say that the top view is completed then uh, the diagonal passing through the corner which is stress is inclined at 30 degree to vp so go to a line command with respect to x y line and construct a, a 30 degree inclined line now this inclined line is called as true angle but the length of ead is not going to be the true angle so we will lock it for the 30 degree now what is the true length and apparent length we have to measure it 
Now one can see AD is true length is measuring 50 millimeter in the same fashion AD apparent length is going to be measured as 35.71 so one has to construct the apparent angle now go to a line command sorry point command with a thickness of 0 0.2 millimeter locate that point anywhere on the 30 degree line then make use of arc by center point command whose thickness is taken as 0 0.13 whatever the point we have created select that as a center the true radius must be taken as 50 millimeter and draw an arc on the 30 degree line and then with the arc and the 30 degree line so we have to get the locus of a line here once we get the locus of a line go to arc by center point command once again select the point what we have created as the center then the radius must be taken as 35.71 that is a apparent radius apparent length as the radius now one has to draw an arc here now there is a shortage of a line length so now the line length let me increase to 20 millimeter or say for example it could be increased to 30 millimeter also no issues then we'll repeat the step select this one that is the radius uh, supposed to be 35.71 millimeter now one will draw an arc from here to here now using a line command the point what we have created and the end point of an arc is going to be the apparent angle and apparent length now using angle between command show that this angle as 44 degree then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 sorry then uh, select the top view and go to a command called as move and move with respect to the corner a position that corner a at the end point of the apparent angle or apparent line when using rotate command a is there only shift the d to the apparent point or apparent line end point on the other side then after which using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 start drawing the projectors from the right extreme corners so let us connect uh, c to c so along with c we have e so we'll draw the projectors to e then we have uh, d so we'll project that d to d so and then we have b is the next corner so b is going to be connected to b along with b we have f so we'll project f to f then finally remaining a is on the x y line and after which make use of a text command name the respective corners using the text command like a dash and this is going to be b dash this is going to be c dash and this is going to be d dash and this is going to be e dash and f dash and after which using a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join the corners properly using the line command to complete the front view now once the front view is completed now one can say that the problem is completed as per the given condition now if you have any doubts please feel free to contact me and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also share this video to all your first year engineering students and thanks for watching my video once again thank you guys